guys, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I am... I'm... Oh. <laughs> I started it all like a fucking YouTube video. <laughs> oh, I am tired. I just got back from work. Uh, it's been a while since I streamed. I've been working on a lot of stuff. I got, um, uh... I'm mean, gonna get my, um, uh... What is it? Um, uh screen capture card my capture card i'm uh i'm about to get it actually so hopefully soon i'll be streaming pokemon arceus on here i'd, I'd love to do that actually so yeah so let's get back into the literature club oh yeah i might be acting a little different than usual because i am very tired. I just worked a lot, and I didn't get to sleep till 6 a.m. last night, and now I'm going to be streaming for a couple hours. So I'm, uh... So I'm checking out the camera. But yeah, so yeah. That's Suki. <clears throat> it's not like I can compare you, to, compare to you guys anyways. Might as well let Blake lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Ouch, first of all. Natsuki... It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a skeleton of what to read. It's much of a selection of what to read. I am... I need sleep. I need sleep. <laughs> I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me. Making me feel terribly awkward. I hope this game gets uh, creepier. Like, a lot creepier. Soon. I'll cite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Me too, dude. That's exactly how I feel. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyways. I'm sorry, I'm not really good at as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem- This poem is called- It's called- Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting a poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little enthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Uh, well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite your poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. When it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case. I, You won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. So, here's a cool thing um, about the last few days, taking a little break. I'm. It's been snowing like crap here in Oklahoma. Um, we got snowed in at my college here at UCO. Um, uh... And I met this person. Their name is Robin, and they're cool as hell. Um, and they make paper butterflies. Like, sorry, the light's gonna be kind of bad. Like, they make paper butterflies. And it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. So, um, uh, yeah. I've been hanging out with them a lot. It was cool to make a new friend over being stuck inside in the snow days. Um, I'm actually collecting. I have a full cup of paper butterflies. Uh, hunting unicorns is legal in Michigan. Brady! <laughs> Dude, yeah, it, 
<laughs> is that actually true, man? Um, uh, my friend Brady's checking in. He said, did you know that it's illegal to hunt unicorns in Michigan? You know, I did not. Um, I gotta find something real quick. I dropped it. I dropped something. A paper butterfly landed in the, um, uh, uh, trash, so I had to get it out. I meant to put my phone on the charger before this. It's on the internet. It has to be true. Yeah. <laughs> I actually saw Brady earlier today. Um, uh, he First time he came to the um, uh, campus and came and saw where I lived. We had a pretty good time. We just sat and watched YouTube mostly. But um, uh, yeah, <clears throat> it might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. Sorry if the camera quality is bad. For some reason, this camera is lagging a little bit. Either that or I'm just way too high. I'm joking, I'm not. <laughs> That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all of this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think it's about time for today. It, I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. I've been really tempted to start playing this game whenever I'm not streaming, and it's taken everything in me to not do to not play it because I'm like really interested in the story of this game. I really need to start reading my school book again. <laughs> I have not. I've been slacking. One second, I have to check something real quick. I'm checking if something is due tonight or tomorrow, because that will matter on if um, uh, I will be able to stream a lot tonight. So if it starts to lag, I am sorry I'm using the internet. Oh, I really hope it's due on Monday and not... Um, uh, It's a thing where I have to write about the first half of Weathering Heights, the book that we're reading. So, like, and I have most of it good. I It's most of it. It's fine. Like, I only have to write a hundred more words. It shouldn't be that hard, right? Changes to the schedule. I just got an email about something. Uh, sorry, I have to do this in the middle of a stream. I just want to make sure so that I can stream tonight instead of having to do a ton of homework. That is due Monday, the day after tomorrow. What the heck? Oh, it's probably because of the light making a circle in the camera. It looks like I have a freaking halo on my head or a basketball. No days, the first journal entry of Weather Heights. Okay, it shouldn't change to the second, which is. It's on Wednesday. Never mind. Okay, we can stream. Let's go. Okay. I hope my cursor is able to be seen. There it goes. As for the festival, we'll finish planning it planning tomorrow. And then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. Hey, no frame drops yet. Great. Ten minutes in. Alright. I stand up. 
There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. So is my character more interested in Monica now? I have no idea why. Say what? And I actually didn't know it was illegal to hunt unicorns in Michigan if they are truly real. Thank you, Brady. Ready to go, Say Wait, ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay. Like, you don't have to say it. Whatever. I mean, whatever. Let's go already. I actually, because me and my friend Robin um, uh, have been hanging out the last few days during the snowstorm, she's been hanging out in my dorm room. And people are making a big deal out of it for some reason. Like, oh, they're in, you're in a dorm room together? Blah, blah, blah. You were in the dorm room alone? Blah, 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 together? And I'm sitting there like, who cares, to be honest? Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already happened. Have already changed. Weird thing is, the weird thing is that I'm, uh, like, we've just been watching, we tried to watch Eternals, but it, the movie's really freaking long. We got like halfway through it before we decided to go do something else. We watched Bo Burnham's Inside, and I forgot what other movie we watched, um, but we also made tons of paper butterflies, which we put all over my um, uh, roommate's bed. So he just walks in, they're just covered in paper butterflies, which I'm going to use for a project coming up. But like, I am going to use them for a project coming up, and I'm actually really excited for the project, but really nervous. What? You could catch up Eternals, good. Yeah, Brady, Eternals is pretty okay. It's slow in the beginning, and I feel like the order is a little weird and whack. That I think the flashbacks just come in at the worst times, and the story isn't great, but it really does pick up once you meet some of the other characters and really get a feel for them the eternals is okay um shang chi and the ten rings is really good sorry i'm having to talk to someone on discord at the same time as this freaking stream Miss Sayori? Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, oh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to, I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Yuri asks to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> um, I don't know the best answer to this. Let's go with Yuri, because I've already shown favoritism towards Yuri. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it! Jeez. There's not even any point in specu- There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Need you? Sayori, I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry, everyone is different. 
Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. If you say so. Conversation trails off and I... And I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Also, I have to ask, with my camera setting where it is, straight in front of me on my laptop, covering my laptop computer, um, uh, camera, it, would it be better if I just moved it to like over, like somewhere over here, like kind of looking down on me? Or to where I'm looking at this while also doing that so, I don't have, so it doesn't look like I'm looking down all the time. Because, like, I know that's how other streamers do it. And that's really popular, but I don't have any way to set that up, which kind of sucks. So, um, I'd love some feedback on that. Like, where I should place my camera or if this is a good spot for it. Who knows what will happen in that time. I really hope this gets weird soon. Yeah, Cage. Um, Pure Crimson. Pain. Why is Sayori Pain? Disown. Yeah, there you go. Sadness. No, why? Philosophy. Suicide. Wow. Um, Misfortune. Nope. I need Daydream Time. Horror. Yes. Weirder than any comments. Yeah, I really hope this... Yeah, it will get really weird. This is a horror game, Brady. Like, it may look cute and all that, but it is... um, uh, It is a horror game all the way. Damn it. Depression. Why is that always getting Sayori? I want freaking this one. Infinite. There we go. Disarray. There we go. Incapable. Lazy. God damn it. Okay. Okay. It's me, Peter. Let's play some Doki Doki Literature Club. It's me, Markiplier. <laughs> I'm fucking around. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. <laughs> ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's the whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit, you sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. I did not know humans consumed squid. They seem like a very weird food for them to consume. Thank you for adding to my memory banks on how to be human. That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Oh, thanks, man. Whoever has followed. XXEV underscore, I guess. I don't know how to, um, uh, I, I don't know what their acts are. I didn't know that there were acts in this game. I had no idea, actually. <laughs> Act one or two or whatever. I was going through the game. There's three. Like, okay, thanks. Um, I do not know if I'm on Act one yet. Um, that festival yet is the best way I can tell you. Are you saying you don't? You don't like squid? You of all people? Eh? 
I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? What was the last thing Sayori did? Uh, asked if I would walk home with Monica. Um, not Monica, if I walk home with Yuri, if Yuri asked me to walk home with her, and I said I would. That was the last thing. Because! It's right in your name! mon -ica. Eh, that's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Ah, never mind. Okay, that's not... That is... that okay so she's now kind of getting self-aware i guess yeah they just did they did just talk about a festival we're actually getting ready for the festival because it's just about to happen let's just focus on our own event for now okay <laughs> fine fine your reactions aren't as fun as yuri's or sayori's anyway oh what C d crying robot face um okay <laughs> i don't know how to I react to that one. I'm now worried. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyways? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah, ah. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can't go talk to everyone. Can you can go talk to everyone else. I thought you had an afro. It's a glare in the light. Yeah, I I figured that out too. I saw it on my camera like feed and I'm like, it's because I have a ring light right here around the um, uh, camera. It's to give good light forward and really shine my face, I guess. But right now I actually need feedback if I need to move my camera somewhere else. Like maybe like off to the side like most streamers do or if it's good right here because it gives a unique aura of basically talking, I guess to person i don't know I don't, I don't know what i'm trying to explain here huh is everything all right festival's about to happen yeah it's about to happen uh, of course why wouldn't it be it just feels like you're a little off sorry for assuming things Jeez, you worry too much about me i'm fine see sorry shows me a big smile don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone well, all right. Is that G Fuel in the back? What G Fuel? Are we talking about this thing? It's an Oculus Rift controller. I don't see where it would be G Fuel. Um, I have my... The blue. Oh, these things? That's the only blue that would be on camera. <laughs> I don't know what G Fuel... I would have. I don't drink energy drinks that much. Ah, uh, frame is. I'm getting frame drops. Great. Oh yeah, it's it's Grogu. It's gro. It's some uh, coffee cups. I'm in my dorm room. <laughs> if you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back towards everyone. But the conversation is already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Pretty out. Gas drop. Uh, my internet sucks. I, I'm at a college dorm, so the internet isn't always the best. Ah. So if someone gets on the internet, there will be a frame rate drop. Um, once it gets really bad, I'll shut down the stream. No, it did it for me at the same time. What? I don't know what you mean by that. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Blake, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with anything up with her? In what way do you mean? I do not understand what how she would be up if she has if there is gravity do humans not have gravity <laughs> there's a cut scene soon it takes a lot of graphics so it drops a frame 
Okay, yeah, maybe. But uh, I've just attributed it to my terrible internet. Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Who says downcast anymore? Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Is today the festival? I don't know. I don't know if it's the festival or not. All I know is it's coming up. Stop asking about the festival, please. I have no idea. I'm just, I'm just starting this game. Maybe there is something on her mind. Well, I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Blake. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Fav favorite character is Yuri. My favorite character is Yuri. I favorite Yuri. I uh, I know what happens to her though. She doesn't deserve what happens to her, but it it happens to her. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She always talked to me about things that bothered her, but this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem, Stammer Cell. How did you know? You knew, though. Well, it's my first time playing through the game. It's not my first time seeing it. I watched Game Grumps play this game, but I didn't watch the full thing. I just kind of watched the animated, Game Grumps animated, so I, and that was the main part of that. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm so I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of club members, you know. I hate Monica. I think everybody hates Monica. I think everybody only hates Monica cuz it's only Monica. And I also care about the well-being of other club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh, are you sure about that? She seems like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the per, with persons of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Blake. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know. Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light has, was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is, al is always like that. Sayori is always like that. I'm sorry, I thought it was Monica's. She's always been full of sun. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now that it all than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny, Blake. Have you thought that maybe... You've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to... I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, all right, all right. <clears throat> Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it. Yeet. Okay. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up for her desk, from her desk, and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori gent and gently talk to her, but she keeps her voice so quiet that I can't hear, hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's, simply it, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her? That I'm letting this weigh me down so much. Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. There's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. 
Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't go anywhere like this. Won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. But now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But... I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Okay, I, I, I know. Stop spoiling it, please. I've only seen the animated stuff from Game Grumps. I don't know anything else other than that she does the thing she does. And I don't think that's a great thing to put inside of a Twitch chat. Because they do monitor those things, and I don't want any trouble with my Twitch streams. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping themselves... That was right at the start. I made sure not to spoil. Sorry. Okay, it's fine. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves... But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Ah, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she, sees, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. Ah, excuse me. I had a soda before I got home. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. That's quite romantic. Eh? So sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that... It's it's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sarah and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, oh, I see. Then perhaps it's unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings? Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Blake... Wait, or maybe I'm just reading into you a little too much. Blake, the world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. So you think that there might be something behind it after all? Hmm. I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match with match what may be going on inside her head and she may not always know what she wants i noticed her strange behavior today too i also feel some concern of her some concern for her but in your case it looks like she was fully occupying your thoughts wasn't she well well i guess that was the case sayori she really means a lot to you doesn't she uh, I, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Ruby suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring... May uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Ah, uh, oh. that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. 
brother. <laughs> anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking I should be taking my mind off of the whole thing anyway. Okay, everyone. After some time after some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Oh yeah. For anybody watching, I'm not gonna read the poems. I will look at them, I will skim them, and I will yeet. I am not dealing with it. <laughs> Sorry, my phone is in my pocket and the alarm just went off, so I had to turn it off while it was still in my pocket. Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she she was talking about with Sayori. I go Monica today. I really hate this, that I have to go through every character. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. See, I'm really bad at poetry. Um, I have to do a essay this week on romantic poetry, and I think I might do Wordsworth, but um, uh, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be writing about. I know it's about the poetry. I don't know if it's like how I perceive it or something like that. I have, I have no idea. I'm just so confused, and I'm a college student, and it's like 20% of my grade, and I really need to get a good grade on this. It would make me happy to see. Ah. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take poem from my hand, blah, blah, blah. Do you have to write a poem? No, I don't have to write a poem. I have to write about a poem. I have to read, like, I think it was William Wordsworth's um, uh, poem. I forgot what it was called, but I'm going to do it over him. I gotta choose um, uh, the list of people from a list of people who to do it over. But um, uh, I think I'll do his because he's the only one I remember. But I have to do it over the poem and I think I have to write about what I get from it or and like how I understand it, what things I present. I'll talk to my teacher um, really on Tuesday, but I, pl I have to start planning how to write it tomorrow on... Well, not tomorrow. Well, yes, tomorrow, Monday... And yeah, tomorrow, Monday. And I have to get like a ton of writing done every day. Because it's a thousand word thing. Okay. First of all, I don't need a giant box of text. Ode to Immortality, I think it was. Okay, yeah. It was Ode to Immortality. Please don't ever put a big box of text like that in my chat again. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I think I've heard her say more words these past couple of days than she's talked in a, in the whole year. Not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. Eh, that's... <laughs> it's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Reading the edgy novel with her. That edgy novel with her. Well, I just... I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. It makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, a novel isn't too bad either, you know? About growing up and losing one's connection to nature. Huh. I'll look into that while I'm doing it. Thank you, actually. I don't really understand poetry, so I couldn't really get anything from it. 
but i thanks man um i'll look back at this whenever i upload the stream to youtube and i'll while i'm rereading re the poem and writing about it i'll keep that one in mind thanks man or woman or whoever you are <laughs> all right all right i get you just be careful all right I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up, so if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. That's not a good sign. I don't like that. The books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. You say that like I'm going to hurt her. Sorry, I didn't mean I didn't really mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Thanks. That's a real, you know, I'm a heart-to-heart -heart chat. Anyway, anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, all right? Um, all right. Lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth, a lady who knows everything, a beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost to drift. Okay. So, pause it if you want. One, two, three. Pause it if you want. Okay, cool. Sorry, I just really don't care about the poems. I'm here for the scary story. <laughs> you know. I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind. So that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, in a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we all had the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose me its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Ahaha, ha. are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, one second. Sorry, I'm also talking to someone on Discord. Just haven't gone through kind of a rough time. Okay, I mean, if everything was okay, we really have, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Why does Monica stand like that? I do not know why she stands like that. Um, I don't know what you mean by stands like that. She's standing just kind of normal, just hands by her side, all that, looking at you. She goes sideways. Um, I don't know. She, I feel like she's just trying to seem like. Hmm. Um. Like more human, I guess. To try and seem like more human, like uh -huh, like cute or something, to get you to favor her, favor her or something. Like they all have poses, but. Um, uh, Monica's, I think, the most expressive one. Humans, humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. As if I would know anything about humans as I am a robot. My name is Monica. Monica EXE has stopped working. E -e 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 -e. That joke is overused, I know. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, yeah, that. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of telling you that your writing is good, 
or bad or okay. They'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. God, I hate her so much. Let's get say let's get Natsuki over. I hate her so much, and I just don't want to deal with her. Especially because of the voice I gave her. I gave her specifically a voice I hated. Mm. Oh man. This is seriously a step backwards. Huh? I liked your last two way better than this one. I mean, I guess I can't be mad at you for trying different things, as long as you're not just trying to impress Yuri or something like that. Because everyone's catching on, Jesus. Gross. Okay, okay. Like you said, I'm allowed to try new things. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyways? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh. N no, gross. It's not that I care. It's just... That one of us in this club has to make- It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking it off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's, um... <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not like you wouldn't- you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun hanging out here, even if I have to put up with you. God, I fucking hate her. I hate her so much. G Natsuki elbow connects with my stomach. Ow, first of all. Oh? Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, crap. Mind my French. Mortal Ode is about to... Really trying. The frame drops, it's... There's a frame drop counter on my thing up here. Um, so when I say I'm sorry that the frame drops, like, right now, it's just going up and up and up and up. And I'm waiting for it to stop before I continue. So, I'm sorry if my words are patchy right now. Get to stabilize? It's stabilized. Awesome. Sorry if my words get... Sometimes it just means that the frame rate drop is I'm uh, going higher and now it's gone. It's at 1785 Yeah, I hate that. Oh, I'm guessing you stream too Um XXEV, I'm just gonna call you EV. That's that's a lot better than just XXEV underscore whatever <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to disrespect the name you have how the hell do you call that a joke? That was serious. That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funnier to her. Yeah, Zev is how it's pronounced. Oh, Zev. Okay, thanks. Okay. Guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway, Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing ever ha even happened. Um. Pause it if you want to see it. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write about anything negative about the beach. So you- so you decided to write about the beach first, then came up with the message later? Well, yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic and I have- and have both of us write about it or whatever. Uh, you can really see her doing that, too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something real fancy. Well, it's not that like, I care. I just did it anyway. I really hate this character with a passion. She is one of the worst characters I've ever seen in gaming.
I don't even have a character to compare her to. That's how bad she is. Like, she's like a Zubat in, like, in Pokemon. Sakura, that's a, yeah, useless to the story, but still there. Like a Zubat in Pokemon games, it's like you run into them and you're like, ah, leave me alone. <laughs> that's how I feel about Natsuki. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. Shelter, I... I've never really run into shelters. Rattata. Yeah, it's basically the same thing if, if you're playing Gen 1. There's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was a good practice. Uh, let's go on to Sayori. I'll save the best for last. Coronavirus. We can't talk about that in chat. Don't. We can't talk about that. Because I mentioned that on YouTube. The, um, uh... How did Game Grumps put it? The, um, uh, Backstreet, the, um, who did Backstreet, ba uh, the Backstreet Boys, um, uh, reunion tour is what they call it. So we can't talk about that on that because I'm uploading the stream to YouTube. I do that with all of my streams. If you want to catch them, just look up nightly games or nightly game, um, uh, nightly game stream archive. I have my stream archive there, and eventually I want to make a um, uh, regular YouTube channel where I splice in the best moments of everything. Kind of like if you've seen RT Games or Shenpai. Kind of like their content. But they also have stream archives. So I'm going to start off with stream archives, and once I get really good at this and have a lot more equipment, um, I'm hoping to make this something that pays, because I'm also going to be a teacher. That doesn't pay enough. I think I'll really come into a charm of um, uh, something people can like and enjoy as I get older and really just go ahead and work at it a lot more. You too. Awesome. Thanks, man. It's nice, I guess. Come on. I can really... I can already tell you don't like it. See, I also have a um, uh, podcast that I used to run, but I actually switched over from podcasting to streaming. If you ever want to see my old content, just look up like um uh, like just for me talking. Um, I think it's called um uh, Idiots with Scholarships on Spotify. I had a good few episodes. I had a lot planned, but it just never went anywhere, and I never had the time. With this, it's something that I can enjoy doing, which is you know, um, video games while also doing the talking that I love doing, and kind of being like Game Grumps, which is who inspired me to start streaming, and also my brother, um, uh, Eminon Gaming. If you want to see my brother stream. He does Eminon Gaming, so, yeah. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is a little chuffed. It's, um, uh, it's just, I'm having a lot of, I talked a lot of work tonight. I work at McDonald's, so I'm always yelling and talking, and it just takes a lot out. Well, you don't need to worry about that, about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Yeah, I didn't write it for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. That makes me really happy. I'm also always yelling. I get it, and I also stream, so I get scruffy, too. I'm glad someone understands. Um, uh, I had someone from work watch my streams, and they were like, "Your voice is so tired after you go, after like, when you're streaming." And I'm like, "Yeah, I just got home from work, and I'm doing this as like best I can." Um, once I get my um, uh, capture card in, I'll be streaming Pokemon Legends Arceus as my first Switch game, my first game that's not on my computer that I will be streaming. I'll be using my Xbox too and be streaming. Um, uh, what is it? Um, uh, Resident Evil Seven. What do I major in? Um, English education. I'm going to be an Engli a high school English teacher. So I'm I'm really happy and can't wait to do that when I get older. Because I'm going to be a teacher. So this is going to be like a side gig. I'm going to have this on the side. Oh, you're in high school. Cool, dude. I just got out of high school like last year. I graduated. So this is my first year of college. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this, in this club? Well, 
Of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Blake. Sayori. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. Sick. Maybe you'll be a, my teacher. Only first year of high school. Any tips for year two, by the way? Um, sophomore year, it really matters on the environment you have. Sophomore year, when it comes to, like, grades and stuff, just do it as the same as, like, freshman. You just keep your grades up, do all that, but... I'm not gonna say the cliche shit of, oh, just believe in yourself or anything. Sophomore year is weird. It's so in- it's in the middle, like, you're not- you no longer feel like a kid because you're out of middle school and it's been a year since you were in middle school and you're around all the all these older people and um uh, you're around all these older people so you're not but you're like you don't consider yourself an adult because you're not like 18 yet but you're almost there you could be like 16 or like 15 or 16 well 16 or 17 at the time mattering on which year if you got held back or not like i was i was 17 in high in um uh sophomore year i had my car in sophomore year but I'm, uh, I'm not gonna say, oh, don't think about what anybody else says, just follow your heart, blah, 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 listen to yourself. No. Just don't do stupid stuff. Like, I did some stupid stuff in sophomore year, and I regret it. Um, and be careful on who you hang around, mostly. I hung around some pretty not desirable people, and it didn't end well. <clears throat> if you insist... Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Only the best one left. Yuri. Turning 15 in two months, and yeah, I get it. I get good grades, a few of my friends hang out with a lot of bad people. Yeah, it's not great to hang out with people that are bad and i remember being your age um at 14 i was in eighth grade i wasn't a freshman yet because i got held back in first grade due to my um, uh, a few conditions i have that i don't want to disclose but um uh at that age i was making a lot of dumb decisions eighth grade i was just getting over my fighting phase because i had i got in a lot of fights in middle school and i'm um, uh, just gotten over that and i was really working to not get angry anymore because anger was my problem. Um, at four, so, like, then I turned 15 in fourth grade and moved on to freshman year. Um, uh, I met my first, the first person I ever, like, at some point, people, what I call puberty is, like, they turn on. Same here, but didn't get in too many fights. Yeah, I got into a lot. But they turn on to where they actually feel real feelings. I'm not saying kids don't feel real feelings, but like you like somebody as a kid, but you can fall in love with somebody after puberty where you're really starting to figure that stuff out. First experience with that was in freshman year with this girl named Cassidy Parks, who is now a guy, which is weird to hear, but more power to him, I guess. They're pretty cool. Never got any trouble out of them after that, but they did cheat on me, so it's like, whatever. Blake, your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing sort of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think I, it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. That sounds so weird when you say, I like this girl. Now she, now he's a guy. He's now a guy. Yeah, I know. It was weird to say and weird to think about. Like, that's why I was like, man, it's weird to think about. I was dating this person. I was dating this girl. And now, like, at the beginning of high school, I was dating this girl. And now I look at them and they're a guy now. What a weird world we live in. <laughs> Which, I'm non-binary myself, but I don't really show it. I just, like, keep it to myself mostly, because who cares about what gender I am? 
just uh oh cool is is that so G yuri gently smiles to herself this feeling i'm so glad i got a chance to share my writing i never thought it would feel like this i i remember you mentioning that yesterday i miss sentna it's fine it's whatever i can't believe you're so good at something you've never i can't believe you're so good at something you never even shared it with anyone Sorry, I was checking something on my um, uh, Steam, on my uh, Twitch studio. It's kind, of, it's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, Harry smiles sadly. Blake, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. God, I hate this. I have all these, like burps and stuff ah i hate i just got back from work drinking soda all day and now i'm burping a lot while i'm streaming this sucks it's a great time to see to find a quiet spot and do some reading in fact i always have some books with me watch anime i do watch anime um what was the most recent one i have finished i am actually it's not the 28th right um yeah um uh Assassination Classroom is about to be taken off of Hulu, so I'm re-watching the entire series in the next few days to because I will not be able to watch it, I don't think, anywhere else um, except for Crunchyroll and all that. I'm not paying for it, and I love Ass Class. That's what it's pronounced as. Don't get mad at me, YouTube, or Twitch, or whatever. But Assassination Classroom, I just, I'm trying to redo, like, rewatch that, and then um, the new seasons of Attack on Titan, I need to catch up on that. It's the only anime I watch subbed is Attack on Titan. Good say, I really enjoy reading. Ass class, yeah. Well, well, that's one way to put it anyway. But books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always smile, put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. Yeah, she's actually telling the truth here. When, So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And, and they don't hate me for acting like I know it all. People say that uh, people say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Blake. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. Sorry if you see me messing with my nose. It's been dry all night, and I'm trying not to get a bloody nose, especially while I'm streaming, because I get a lot of them. Because it's so dry with the winter air. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you, that I really understood what was missing all this time, but I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful, that's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Blake. I speak too slowly, I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things, but, but every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I don't watch the prom you watch Promise Never? I do, and I'm not watching the new season. Um, they skipped about two or three arcs in the um, uh, manga in the and in, in, in um, uh, Promise Neverland just to get to the ending. Yeah, they're about to either they're about to release a new season or they're or they just released the new season, or they or maybe there isn't a new season. But they skipped a lot in, from the manga in the anime just to get to the ending. So I don't think I'll watch it. 
again. I watched the first season. It was good. But it's season two. I will not watch anything season two or past it. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it, you watch the final AOT season. I'm actually trying to... I'm going to watch it once I get off stream. Uh, that's my plan for the night is... At, is assassination classroom and attack on titan and if other people don't see it that way then screw them good i know it's good i mean i joined this club hoping i would make friends and i would say i've had at least one success wouldn't you oh uh, um if you put it that way yeah we really are friends now aren't we yuri puts her head in her hands but this time she's smiling as she does it you want to show me your poem yeah I do. Let me get it for you. Um, I can't read cursive, so... One, two, three. One, two, three. Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri, but instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Do you dislike it? Uh, no, of course not. Okay. I just don't really know how I should respond. Um, dude, can you not just put random things in chat? Um, uh, traffic flow, I guess, is the best way to put it. Like, I can't delete them from chat either. Didn't mean to. I know you didn't. Just watch out. I don't think the best time to clean your... You could unplug your keyboard and then clean it to where you're not putting stuff in the chat. Like, I'm not saying you have to. But, like, that's what I would have done. Or to say I would have disabled my keyboard on my on my laptop here. I'm unplug it. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. Also... This clearly isn't the poem that Atsuki said she wrote about, meaning I'm probably the only one she's showing this to. I, I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. Yuri is having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. Once again, I once again try to hand the poem back to her. I'm gonna go unplug my I'm gonna go plug my phone in real quick. There we go. Once again, I try to hand her, the poem back to her. But instead, Yuri gently takes my hand and pushes them back towards me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can, um, poem is... Once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always, you always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but I hope that I can return the favor sometime. Yeah, don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back towards me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah, I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me, and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. My guy is an idiot. My guy is a straight-up idiot. He, like, this girl likes him, and he's like, mm, That's a nice poem. I know it's about me, but... I have no idea what it means. No idea. My guy's gotta be blonde, because he's an idiot. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring it out? Figuring out. Hold on a second. 
Is it just me, or did you just say something strange just now? I just cleaned it. Cool. Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Cat catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Oh. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, uh, it seems you're right. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Ah, dang it. Why the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. There you on. I have no idea what day I'm on. I think I might be three or four. Maybe five. I have no idea. I have not been keeping count. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? Hope she's alright. I know you're not past day three. I think this might be day three, because I've been through two days. I know for a dang fact I've been through two days. The first day and the second day I've been through. Seriously? All of the times to not go home with her? You pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Well then, today is the festival. Maybe this is day two. I have no idea. That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... There's your answer. Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. Already... Know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuku will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. As for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri. Yuri, you can... Uh, um... Guys... Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. No, no. It's not... That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. No, now Natsuki. Now Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah. That may be the case, but if I can't I'll also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. <laughs> yeah, a person, alright. You ain't a person, you a robot. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So maybe, so you could make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I, I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that was that just leaves you, Blake. The one who is truly useless. Aha, uh, don't say that. I uh, the one who is truly useless. Uh, don't say that. In fact, I need to pay attention to who's talking. <laughs> Both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. I would probably go a long way to give you one of them a, to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would really appreciate of that. Ah, that's is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Oh, 
I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could get I could get, give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> no, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Blake may not like to be around you if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, maybe be more suited to assisting with the decorations. This is funny. Yeah, it is. Hold on. I never said that. God damn it, Monica. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not chatting as much. No, it's fine. I am enjoying the game myself, so... I'm not really paying attention to the chat at the moment. All I see is, like, the light change a little bit from the top of my eye here, and it just... That's what gets my attention. Stabbing stuff with surgery scissors I got from my... That is not a great thing to do. Uh, that's not safe. I wouldn't do that, but I... All I can say is I condone against it. Twitch, please don't ban me. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Blake too. What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. There's cardboard, plastic, and paper. We'll at least make something out of it. Must be wasting material. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Blake to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in. You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I'll make something cool. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Blake, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you to make dots for a cutout. Cool. Of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone look straight at me. Uh, I'm, I want to pick Sayori, but Yuri's my favorite. Yuri's my favorite. Mm, I'm glad it's not the one. I know there's a moment where it's like, it keeps making you go to Monica. With your thing, but um, uh, we're gonna go with Yuri. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. I know you said Sayori, but I'm helping out Yuri because Yuri's my favorite, and I know I already know Sayori's gonna die at some point. So let's speed up that process. She's a great character, but Yuri is my favorite, and I will go down that path. But me? Are you serious? Why would you? Natsuki, I can already tell you're tell you're about to say something mean. No, no. Oh, how she? You don't know how she will die. I don't. Um, but I will go ahead and I will. I'm hoping this game gets scary on me. I'm waiting. Um, to be honest, I'm waiting for this game to get scary on me. I'm not gonna prevent any deaths. I'm gonna go straight through it. I was just- I was just saying- Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Blake. Yeah. That's what I'm go- that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I do, I want to, but I'll figure it out on my own. I'll figure it out on my own. Wait, wait, I hope this goes off in stream. <laughs> I hope that's in stream. <laughs> I just, I figured out there's a drawing thing on here. <laughs> a mustache. But it's not very good. This is so dumb. Is this how Batman figured out Clark Kent was Superman? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get back to the game. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with that and disable draw mode. Okay, there we go.
I'll, I'll screw around with that more later. That's great. I have a bad I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. But but I suppose I'm but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Blake? Me? Ah. I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, not what about you, Natsuki? Natsuki. Come on, you stupid bitch. Why? Why is everyone just yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no, that's not what I mean at all. Ah, I hate this. Ah, I keep feeling like I got a nose near a uh, hair near my nose and it's tickling me. Not what I mean at all. Uh uh. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Blake picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of surprised, though. But why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words trying to with already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up has a far must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kinda appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Oh, I believe you. Yeah. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat. Oh, uh, um. Huh? I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. <coughs> <coughs> ah. Don't know what just caught my throat. <clears> throat> uh, okay, back to the game. <laughs> back to the game. <laughs> Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is, is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that would be the one going to your house. That I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Oh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. <laughs> my room is not clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. <laughs> I bet. I remember how I kept my room at that age. 
That's with six years. Man, six years. It's weird to think about. I just turned 20. And it's been six years since the beginning of high school. Since the be since I almost began high school, since eighth grade. Huh. Time really does fly. Don't underestimate yourself, Blake. I think that we'll make a pr very productive team. Once I'm done with this day, I'm going to get off a of stream because I have other things to do. And I need to start writing for my um, uh, other stuff in my classes. So I'll be ending it after um, uh, this day ends. Even if, even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen. You may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, but Yuri thinks to herself an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You want me to point out when you're overthink? You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh. I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. <clears throat> That's all there is to it. You believe me? I. Uh, Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out uh, out the door, and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is going is coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof. Yeah, I've, I'm gonna ask a girl out soon. I'm uh, using paper butterflies, um, so I'm also very anxious. I was off my rocker. I was chuffed at work tonight. I'm uh. And I just couldn't think of, like, I just thought, I'm going to get paper butterflies and put them on a, um, uh, a board, a, um, uh, thing, a poster board, and spell out the word dinner with a question mark at the end, basically asking them to dinner using paper butterflies. I'm going to stay calm, but it's going to be covered in these. And, like, I really hope they say yes, because I'm putting a ton of effort into it. And I just really hope it, I really like this person. So I really hope that it goes well. So yeah. And I'll stay calm, don't worry. It's not anytime soon. I gotta wait till my next paycheck so I can actually take them to dinner. But um, uh, the reason is they're, go they're gonna be sent off to boot camp at any point. And with everything that's going on with like, you know, Europe, what's happening in Europe right now, I don't really wanna say it just in case it's Twitch. And YouTube get mad about people talking about it, like they did about um uh, the Backstreet reunion tour, um uh, and all that. You know, if you know what I'm talking about, um uh, so thing is like, I just hope it goes well. They know it was a dare. I hope it goes well for you. Yeah, I hope it goes well too. And I'm not gonna say it was a dare. I'm in college now. That's not gonna work. I actually like this person. I think they, they know that I do. I hang out with them a lot. So. If it do, if they say no, I take responsibility for it. And I try my best. Hey, they'll still be my friend. So, at least I tried. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling here at this point. There's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. I should look. Thanks, man. It won't be until like two weeks from now, so two weeks from yesterday, actually. Well, I'll be putting it together sometime this week. I need to go buy poster board and stuff. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. So this is the chance I have to make something happen between us. So is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. Yeah, I'm having that gust right now because I've known this person for three days. <laughs> And I really like them. I've always made sure to become really good friends with somebody and then ask them out, but I think that could ruin friendships pretty bad if we have nothing if we have to base it off of everything. If it doesn't work out. So I think I'm gonna 
I don't know him that well. Know them that well. And she's, um, uh... He's got a charm about her. I shouldn't be talking about her on stream. Let's just get back to the game. Until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. And... It's already Sunday. Actually, that was the end of the day. We're gonna say that was the end of the day, because I it's been an hour and a half, and I need to start getting stuff done. So... We're gonna press that, you know, save here, um, return, so, um, see you guys, for all that, everyone that watched, thank you so much, thank you to Zev for the sub, not sub, but the follow, um, I can't wait to do this more, my streaming schedule, if you'll remember, is Fridays and Saturdays, sometimes I may not do it Fridays, but I will do them Saturdays, and it'll be Doki Doki Literature Club until I get my capture card, which should be within the next two weeks, so, I'm, uh, and I'll be streaming on Friday nights once I get my capture card, which will be my um, uh, game Fridays and my um, uh, s visual novel Saturdays. Because I will be doing a lot of visual novels on Saturdays um, and in summers on Wednesdays. But So, take five, grab a soda. See you later, guys. Thanks for coming.